whether we knew what we were doing or not, um, it was parasites that kind of led us and transitioned us from a more conventional grazing system into strategies that were more sustainable. We had pastured lambs on these pastures for about seven years after the dairy and uh, we had noticed that our worming uh, chemical wormers were were not working as well as they did originally. We had used Valbazin and Safeguard, two white wormers that uh, have the same mode of action and after about five years we noticed our gains were down from what they were at first and the lambs were just not doing as well so we changed to Ivermec and first year of that and even the second year we noticed appreciable differences. Then one morning I woke up and I wondered now what are we going to do when Ivermec quits us? And so I, uh, I started looking into grazing practices that would control parasites. And what we found was three main things. First, an increase in pasture rest or pasture recovery period. If you get over 30 days, then a lot of those barber pole worms population is starting to, to go down. The second one was we found out that, that most of the barber pole infective larvae, they crawl from the manure pads up the stems and most of them only get about two or three inches up the grass stem. So if you graze down to six inches, you're not ingesting a lot of those larvae that you would be if you graze down to four inches because every time you graze down to four inches there's parts of that pasture that are grazed to two inches and less even so you're ingesting those larvae. The third thing is we learn to get out of the paddocks before four days because the barber pole worm takes four days to go from the manure pat to its perch on the grass uh, leaf. So we incorporated those three things into a new grazing strategy and we have observed a lot of very good results. That was four years ago that we started putting those practices into use and each year we've started to worm less and less and less our lambs and also our ewes on the pasture. It has come around to the point this last year, the last grazing season, we used no wormers at all. Not on the ewes in the peripartriant rise period, none worming on the lambs when they're on pasture, and also no fall worming. So we're worm free now, wormer free, not necessarily worm free, but we're wormer free. We use the FAMACHA system to monitor our barber pole worm uh, infestation on the lambs, and so far we've where most of our lambs are in the threes and twos, few ones. Uh, that's the safe level. Um, this pasture past season in 2014, out of 330 lambs on this pasture, we famotched them, them all and we treated with wormer Ivermec 16 out of the 330. So we feel that we're on the way with something here with a grazing strategy. That strategy, as I said, involves exiting the paddock before you have uh, six inches that's left. Um, this grass field that we're talking now here, right, looking at here, this has been growing for about 10 days. We got about 10 inches of growth here. And you can see that if you went and pastured this right now, They'd be grazing it down, right down to the ground almost. You know, you'd have one inch less or so. So you're just you're just asking for for parasite infection. Similarly, if you're in a in this paddock for more than four days, you're gonna get parts of that ground, that grass, that's even further down. It's gonna be darn near bare because they're gonna like that. 
and the next time they come around it's going to be shorter grass than the rest of it and that's what they're going to eat first and they're going to graze it again right down to the ground and so every time they're doing that they're just ingesting all those larvae that you don't want them to, to ingest. If you're in the paddock for less than four days, you're completely missing the new crop of larvae that have crawled out of the manure and up onto the, onto the stem. So you're getting out of Dodge before Dodge shoots you.